always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. The heat will just continue, and our overnight lows tonight are going to be settling close to about 72. It's still 81 in Holland. 73 in Muskegon, cooling down there, likely because of the rain. 77 in Grand Rapids, 80 in Hastings. Here is the rain that we're speaking of, and we kind of need the rain. Actually, we really need the rain in a lot of locations. We're going to be watching some of these showers because occasionally they could regain their strength, as we're seeing here, and produce some lightning. We're not expecting anything severe overnight tonight, but we could see some gusts up, up near 30 to even 40 miles per hour. South Haven water temperature. These showers and storms are rolling in off of very warm water for this time of year. And I had to include this in the broadcast because it's so interesting. If we look at this, this shows us the surface water temperature down to about 56 feet down uh, in South Haven, just a couple of miles offshore. And what this graph shows us is that the water temperature at the surface is 70, but over the last few days, even down near 56 feet, the water profile is 70 degrees. That's much warmer than usual for this time of year. All right, back to the storms. We have a chance for these overnight tonight and then through the day on Thursday and Friday as well. Showers and storms are going to be most likely on the east side of 131, especially in the late afternoon and early evening. Both Thursday and Friday have chances of feeling like 99 degrees in spots, but at times we might also only feel like the mid 90s, which is an improvement and we'll take any chance that we can get in terms of slight improvements. Future cast shows overnight tonight. Again, chances of some rain. As we continue on through 7 a.m. tomorrow, waking up to split conditions. Some should see sunshine right out of the gate. Others, it might take a bit with some lingering showers. But through the day on Thursday, we expect about a 40% chance of showers and storms. Some of these could be strong or at least produce gusty winds of about 40 miles per hour. And then as we continue into Friday, more of the same. Active pattern, warm temperatures, times of sunshine and times where those convective towers can pop up. As for the humidity, it's uncomfortable. In the next couple of days, we might even be moving into the gross category, dew points of 70 to 75 at times. As for the rain, we're expecting it to really pick up Sunday night, excuse me, Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then after that happens, we should see a bit of a cool down. So I'll step off just for a moment so that you can see this unfolding. From Saturday into Sunday, we'll drop 10 degrees here. Monday, 84, sunshine. This is when the humidity breaks. And then mid 80s for us. Summer starts tomorrow, guys, and this really looks like it. Yeah, summer started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Alan.